Hey guys, what's going on? Happy Wednesday. It is uh, September 2nd. Damn, I can't believe it's September already. I don't know about you guys, but for me it just seems like this year is just crazy flying by. Um, sitting out here at a little park and stuff waiting on mom. Uh, she's doing chemo again today. So we go about an hour and a half here and pick her up. Um, but mom's doing, doing pretty good. Still having a hard time breathing. Uh, I think it's because... Um, not so much the fluid on her lungs anymore, around her lungs, because we, were, we went last week. Um, gosh, God, I haven't even done a freaking video on that or anything. Wow. Man, I just, I've, I've been busy as hell um, with mom and everything else and, and stuff. And just a few days there, really wanted, I felt like I just wanted to start handing out throat punches like I was passing out candy at a fucking parade. Um, just things were getting to me and everything else, and I was just like, uh, so, but maintain, um, everything, let's see, so we went last Thursday and got some good news, the doctor took mom up, um, Thursday morning to get a, uh, a valve, yeah, I guess a valve or tube or whatever, I don't remember what it's called, I call it the commuter valve, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of like it goes right next to the flux capacitor. But anyway, um, to put in so that I could drain the fluid off of her chest cavity from around her lungs at home so we know whatever got difficult for her to breathe. Um, we went up there. Well, we went to her can't. Damn, I got to back up. First of all, we went to her cancer doctor last Monday and got the reports and everything else and I think I did do a video on that about stage four cancer and everything and that we were good yeah that's right and that we were going to go to Wichita on Thursday to have that and so we went up there um because there was fluid on our lungs stuff on Monday and everything went to the cancer doctor we went up to Wichita on Thursday and they didn't do the procedure because there was a little bit of fluid but there wasn't enough to do there wasn't even enough for him to drain this time which is good because the first initial stay in the hospital, she had a liter and a half drained off of them. A week later, she had 1.3 liters drained off of them. Two weeks later, she had 1.2 liters drained off of them. And then this last time, it had been almost three weeks, we were going to go get this valve thing put in, and uh, they said there wasn't any fluid there. So praise God. I mean, that's awesome. Thank you guys for your prayers and your support and everything. Um, because there wasn't any more fluid there right now. Uh, so, but she's still having a difficult time breathing. And, um, and it's because her red blood cells, her hemoglobins and stuff are, are low. Uh, and everything and have been. And I just, when I went there to take her to get her uh, lab work done today before chemo and everything, I got a copy of the, her uh, lab reports. And, and I've been looking over the last ones. I went and got them. Got them uh, Monday, last Monday, yeah, yeah, this Monday. Got copies of them, looked at them, and, and progressively throughout this thing from the beginning, from the onset, um, they were already low, like almost at the bottom end of the, of the scale. And then every week, red blood cells have been going down and white blood cells and hemoglobins and stuff and everything else. And um, so I got them today, you know, I've been doing this diet and uh, feeding mom, uh, good stuff and, and, and super greens and everything. A lot of you posted and commented about that or, or suggested that. Thank you. I checked into it and stuff. And so we're, we're doing that. She, mom, I, I force a, a vegetable smoothie or whatever the hell you want to call it down her throat twice a day. Um, you know, along with, you know, food, make her eat. She's, and she is eating. She's doing good. She's, she's fighting this thing. Even when she doesn't feel like it, like she's eating. So and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of her for that. You know, she's doing the, you don't got to like it. You just got to do it attitude. And sometimes that's what it is. That's what it takes. But, uh, so I'm doing that. So thank you guys for the information on that. Um, and everything. But this week is the first week. The, and I'm looking at her uh, her lab results right now, that her um, blood count's gone up and everything. Uh, last week, well, I'll just read last week's here real quick. Last week, her white blood cells were 4.2. Her red blood cells were 3.89. Uh, 
and our hemoglobins were 11.2. This week, her white blood cells are 7.5, her red blood cells are 4.12, uh, but her hemoglobin's down to 11, from 11.2. So, you know, we're just kind of focusing on um, a diet and, and, and foods and things like that to help, help her produce, uh, help her body produce red blood cells and everything, you know, and I, and I think, you know, it's probably a little bit tough with the cancer in her bones and stuff, so being how the red blood cells, you know, with the bone marrow and everything, um, but it, we're doing it. it, it's going up, thank God, I mean, you know, it's going up, the fluid was gone, um, mom's going in tomorrow morning to have a, uh, Portacath, there we go. A Portacath uh, put in. <laughs> I almost said a fallopian tube. <laughs> I don't know why, but I almost said, yeah, mom's going to get a fallopian tube put into her. No, Portacath for um, for her chemo treatments and everything tomorrow morning. So that'll be good. So that way they don't have to try to hit a vein every time. That'll be good for mom. Uh, but yeah, the, let's see, what else? I think that's about it for now. You know, just uh, guys, keep praying. Thanks for the support and the prayers and everything else. Um, praying for those blood counts to come up and her hemoglobins to come up so that she can get the oxygen and everything because it's like, if her lungs are getting full, but it's kind of like having the, the, the fuel in your tank of your car, but you got a dirty fuel filter and you can't get it all to the engine where it needs to go so it doesn't run right. Kind of the same thing. Um, so, but thank you guys. Hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, thank you for all the post stuff on Facebook. I haven't even looked at a lot. I get on there and I get to doing things and I have to go and, and do something, you know, or help something here or there or whatever. So, um, my Facebook traffic slowed down a little bit. I think, well, I think, every, I think this last week, everything has slowed down a little bit. I'm going to over Labor Day weekend. That's one good thing. Um, my brother's going to, my brother's actually coming into town today to uh, kind of give me a little uh, relief. I've been here for, shit, I don't know, a month and a half or so, 24-7 uh, basically, which is fine. I mean, I love my mom. It's not a big, you know. But, um, so, and I'm going to go to uh, Backwoods Music Festival down in Stroud, Oklahoma. Um, so that'll be good. Go down there and listen to some music and uh, camp and stuff with some buddies of mine, some friends, and they got me a uh, VIP pass. So Lance... Thank you very much. His name is Lance, too. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, used to, we used to be roommates. Rocco would have to go to school and, and tell all the other dogs, hey, this is my name's Rocco. This is my dad, Lance, and my other dad, Lance. You know, but like, you know. So, yeah, I'll be at a music festival this weekend, having a good time. Hope you guys are having a good Labor Day, or you will have a good Labor Day weekend. Have a good week. Guys, be safe. Be good to one another. And remember, when you help somebody out, the person you find out you really might be helping is yourself. All right? So you guys stay good, be better, not bitter. We'll talk with you later. Bye.